click the bell icon to get latest videos from ikeda hello friends today we'll be learning how to prepare a complete balance sheet that is tallying of asset side as well as liability side while preparing the contract account let us see this question now the following trial balance was extracted on 31st december 2002 if we are required to prepare a total balance sheet we require a complete trial balance so when in a question they give trial balance that means we have total details of debit and credit accounts then only it is possible to prepare a full fledged balance sheet otherwise we sh we can show only relevant items in balance sheet that is not called as a full fledged balance sheet instead it is called as extract of balance sheet so in this question we are not going to prepare extract of balance sheet but we are going to prepare a full fledged balance sheet which will tally that is asset will be equal to liabilities so trial balance date is given 31st december 2002 first land and building 64000 amount is given so this is an asset which will appear on asset side of balance sheet bank balance it will appear as an asset on balance sheet then they have given relevant details of the expenses relating to the contract contract account material that means material issued to contract this will be debited to contract account plant we are required to consider depreciation on plant and we are required to debit that amount to contract account wages contract account debit expenses contract account debit share capital is given rupees 1 lakh this is a liability of the company so this will be recorded on liability side sundry creditors liabilities they have given here cash received 90% of work certified amount is given 2 lakh 70000 we can find out the amount of work certified 2 lakh 70000 is amount of cash received divided by 90 that is 90% multiplied by 100 we can solve this after solving this we get a figure 3 lakhs what is this figure 3 lakhs 3 lakhs is the amount of work certified this will be put to the credit of contract account so if the information of cash received is given like 90% of the work certified we can calculate the actual amount of work certified the contract price is rupees 5 lakhs here we have amount of contract price rupees 5 lakhs which is started on 1st january 2002 trial balance date is 31st december 2002 so since beginning of the contract is a period of 12 months are completed out of plant and material charge to the contract plant costing 4000 and material costing 6000 were destroyed by an accident what information we have here we have information that plant received by contract was 40000 of this 40000 plant costing 4000 that has been destroyed by accident so this is something abnormal expense for the contract so this will not be charged to contract account instead this will be transferred to profit and loss account so we are going to credit contract account for this amount and we are going to debit profit and loss account similarly material costing 6000 is lost by accident so this material lost by accident is a abnormal expense for the contract that material is not actually used for the contract so this expense will be debited to profit and loss account and it will be credited to contract account on 31st december 2002 plant costing 10000 was returned to stores the value of material on site was 5000 now here plant of 
is sent from materials to from contract to stores at the end of the year that means it has been used at the contract and then it has been sent to warehouse so we are going to charge depreciation even this on this amount of 10000 value of material on site 5000 this will be part of work in progress and it will be credited to contract account the cost of work done but not certified was rupees 10000 this is amount of work uncertified so it's a mark of uncertified so it will be credited to contract account depreciate plant 10 percent and 2 percent on land and building so depreciation of plant will be charged to contract so far it is used for the contract and depreciation on land and building it will be charged to profit and loss account so we are required to prepare here contract account profit and loss account and finally balance sheet prepare contract account after taking two-third of the profit on cash basis to profit and loss account and we are required to prepare balance sheet as on 31st December so here again we find that company is having its specific policy it has specific policy of dividing contract profit when the contract is incomplete so we are required to follow this concept of two-third profit we are required to transfer on cash basis to profit and loss account this is what the details we have with this we'll be preparing now contract account profit and loss account and balance sheet let us start now first land and building 64,000. this will be recorded to the asset of balance sheet so land and building on asset side we are recording 64,000. there is adjustment of depreciation therefore we have recorded the amount in inner column bank balance at the end of the year was 18,000. this will be recorded as an asset in balance sheet now details of contract material sent to the contract rupees 1 lakh material debit 1 lakh plant 40,000 will be considering depreciation on this wages 1 lakh 50,000 expenses 10,000 Now plant issued to contract was 40,000 out of this certain amount of plant is lost what information we have here plant costing 10,000 oh, plant costing 4,000 this has been lost in accident destroyed by accident so here we'll be recording this on credit side by plant and machinery plant plant lost amount is 4000 here in profit and loss account on debit side will be recording loss of plant by accident rupees 4000 similarly there is material lost 6000 it will be credited here to the contract account Six thousand. Then it will be debited to profit and loss account. Loss of material by accident, rupees six thousand. So plant, it was forty thousand, but plant of four thousand has been lost. So actual plant which is used by the contract was of costing 36,000 so while considering depreciation for the contract we have to take like this 36,000 multiplied by rate of depreciation is given 10% so plant depreciation is 3,600 while recording in balance sheet 
प्लांट वॉज कॉस्टिंग फोर्टी थाउजेंड आउट ऑफ फोर्टी थाउजेंड प्लांट ऑफ फोर थाउजेंड एज बीन लॉस्ट सो बैलेंस प्लांट वॉज थर्टी सिक्स थाउजेंड लेस डेप्रिसिएशन टेन परसेंट इट इज थ्री थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड सो प्लांट एट साइड हिस्टर थर्टी टू थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड नेक्स्ट इंफॉर्मेशन वी हैव शेयर कैपिटल वन लैख इट विल बी रेकॉर्डेड ऑन लाइबिलिटी साइड ऑफ बैलेंस शीट शेयर कैपिटल वन लैख सेंट्री क्रेडिटर्स ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड बैलेंस शीट लाइबिलिटीज देन वी हैव इंफॉर्मेशन ऑफ वर्क सर्टिफाइड दैट वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड रुपीज थ्री लैक्स it will be credited to contract account work in progress work certified 3 lakhs here they have given the information of work uncertified cost of work done but not certified rupees 10000 so it will be credited to contract account value of material at site rupees 5000 Will be credited here under the heading work in progress. So thereby we have recorded all information given in the table as well as in adjustment. Now we can proceed for closing. Here we got national profit fifty seven thousand four hundred. As per information given in the question, this required to be divided as. नॉशनल प्रॉफिट फिफ्टी सेवन थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड मल्टीप्लाइड बाय टू थर्ड मल्टीप्लाइड बाय कैश रिसीव दैट कैश रिसीव इन रिलेशन टू वर्क सर्टिफाइड इज नाइंटी परसेंट सो डायरेक्टली वी कैन राइट नाइंटी अपॉन हंड्रेड सो अमाउंट टू बी ट्रांसफर टू प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अकाउंट इज थर्टी फोर थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी टोटल अमाउंट इज फिफ्टी सेवन फोर हंड्रेड माइनस थर्टी so amount transfer to reserve will be 22960 this profit will be credited to profit and loss account 34440 now we can find out final net profit by closing profit and loss account final net profit is 23160 Here we have considered loss of plant by accident four thousand, loss of material by accident six thousand, as well depreciation on land and building, which is given in the question two percent of land and building. It is recorded one thousand two hundred and eighty. So final profit we got twenty three thousand one hundred and sixty. This will be transferred to balance sheet. Reserve amount twenty two nine sixty will be deducted. So final amount will be. Twenty two thousand forty. So balance sheet total we are getting one lakh thirty five thousand one hundred and sixty. So here we have learned how to prepare a full fledged balance sheet while preparing contract account. by recording necessary information in profit and loss account separately prepared thanks for watching this video stay in tune with ikida and subscribe to our channel ikida